What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. After about three, three or four weeks, we're finally able to come up to our spot and do our Saturday night camping. It's my 2020 Tacoma TRD off-road and cement gray. I've got an Icon Stage 6 lift, uh, Yokohama Geolander tires. Those are 33, 16 inch Stealth Custom Series BR6 wheels. That's a Baja ditch lights, Baja fog lights, Heretic 40 inch light bar, Prinzu roof rack, Max tracks, uh, black bed decal. A 4x4 off-road sticker and a bunch more things that you can just go down in the description below and I've got all my videos listed on there It's pretty dry up here. So we're gonna have to be cautious There's no red flag warning or anything like that right now for having fire. So This is the hole that I dug out a couple months ago. It's still there might have to make it a little bit deeper Just to be safe and then got some dry stuff around us, which I'll probably just cut back right now but as you may may or may not have seen in my previous video it's i talk about our right line truck bed tent so today i'm actually gonna try to figure out where i can mount my gopro maybe on top of my roof rack and i'll show you guys how easy the installation is now i'm sure we're gonna mess it all up because we haven't set it up in about four weeks or so we were getting really good at it we were able to set it up really quick so we might mess up a couple times but get you guys a view of that and then yeah this is gonna be our saturday night camping trip so we're about um i think maybe 15 miles or so up the mountain total you can see the beach right down there you got galita and santa barbara more to the east it was 66 down in santa barbara and it's 70 degrees up here this is the warmest by far that it's been i'm over here digging out the hole a little more and sweating my butt off already and then got to cut a little bit more of this back move the truck we were in this more heavier weeds area and all that but for the sake of the truck bed tent we're going to get out of the weeds so we have less to worry about if any creepy crawlies decide to crawl up which very unlikely i'll show you guys when we install it how how it looks and then the chances of something actually crawling up are pretty damn slim and even sometimes we'll bring uh what's that spray stuff home defense and kind of put it around the tires that's just when you're really paranoid but i don't think we'll need that out here all right, I've got the GoPro in super view mode, so hopefully it's not too bad of quality. It's probably very fish-eyed right now, but that's the best I can do with filming while setting this tent up. So, in the bag, you got the tent. You got instructions attached to the bag, and then you have your stakes right here which we won't need yet. This orange piece is optional. It's kind of damp. It can go over the tent as like a rain protector. I don't know why it's damp. Because last time I we went camping, it was super um, overcast, remember? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's probably why then. Yeah, everything's kind of damp still. All right, when you unravel the tent, gonna look like you'll see right lines logo is this box type thing that's how you know the tent's gonna be right side up when your foxes are facing upwards now the only other part you have to worry about is figuring out where the front is because it can be a little confusing however so this long a long cord right here is the front that goes under your tailgate so that'll help you find where the front is pretty easy and then that could just go right under the tailgate right away all right I'll bring the camera over here to show you guys so here's that strap right here runs all the way along that's how you know you got the front and then everything else you can just start grabbing and then setting along the truck. Grab here. And then these are gonna end up tying, or going down to the bottom of the truck from here. But once you got everything secured first, like these, uh, let's see, so this strap, the corner straps, I'll just kind of let them hang. Don't secure anything right away because you're gonna have to adjust this thing a lot. You're gonna have to tighten one area, you're gonna have to loosen the other area. So if you just leave everything pretty loose, then you won't have, have much difficulty. 
putting this thing together. Something that I to tend to forget all the time. After, yeah, can you open it real quick, please? If you put that strap underneath the tailgate right away, don't forget that in the tent, there's these orange straps. Can you hold that for mm -hmm. me? So you have these orange straps that are inside and these are gonna clip to the existing tie down little mounts right there. Again, don't tighten it. And then same thing on this side, you have it on both sides. If you forget and you try setting up the tent without latching these in, your truck's gonna be all, or the, the uh, tent's gonna be all jacked up. It's gonna be favoring one side or it won't be completely sturdy. So get those locked in. Okay, once you got the two straps in there tied down, then you just pull the the uh, tent over your tailgate and it secures it on these kind of thicker edges right there. That way it doesn't rip. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you have a very dirty truck, try to be fragile if you don't want scratches. Cause I mean, I don't think it's really gonna scratch. It touches your truck obviously, but I haven't had any issue yet with the straps scratching. Um, all these just happened right now when I was on the trail getting here. So I, I tend to keep everything pretty loose, especially if it's not going to be windy. If I know there's not going to be a lot of wind, then I'll barely secure the, t the tent just enough to where it you know, doesn't come off or anything like that. If it is really windy like it was for us last time, then definitely secure everything very well. One thing you can do is if you are really paranoid, put a microfiber underneath here and it'll, you know, I mean, it'll prevent some scratches. But now we're going to put the poles in and we'll show you guys that setup part. So you've got three long poles. Right here, there's orange on them. These, the orange is supposed to tell you that it goes the long ways. They, these are the ones that are gonna crisscross and support the top of the tent. The one without the orange ends on there goes across the top of the tent as the, the support. A, it has a gray sticker on the pole. Yeah, to go gray. The gray. Yep, gray and then, and then orange, orange, orange with orange. Pretty easy. And setting this tent up is pretty, with one person, you can manage to do it, it'll take a little bit longer. But two people just makes it a little bit easier. But in general, it's not a difficult tent to put up. These are all just gonna slide through and you don't have to worry about securing them right away. Just poke it through and then I'm gonna put that side in and I'll secure it over here. Okay, secured one side right here. That one's in, do you have that corner secured in there? Yep. Okay, I don't have mine in yet. Oh. And then, this is just gonna go right into there, which I don't know if I could do with one hand. There we go, got it. got it. Yep, so there's that. And then again, the one without the orange on the ends goes right through the top, and that's gonna be your support to get into the tent. Got it? Keep pushing, I'm going this side. It's getting a little dark in the video, apologize. Keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. And then once you got all the way through, it secures into one, two latches, and then goes right into the side right there. And then once that's put in, all done. All secured, now we'll just lightly, these ones gonna go. For some reason on the 2020 Tacoma, there's not really a latch to put this one on, so all I do is just crisscross it, and then slide it up there like that, and barely even pull on it, just kinda leave it there to secure there we go and then this side same thing just kind of barely that one crisscrosses oh it does yeah so for some reason they want you to put this one on the other side like that just to secure it and then again lightly lightly and do that on both sides and i'll show you guys the inside okay so here's the inside of the tent these don't really pull over like all the way that's good enough. It's got a little pouch right there. This side though needs to come up, so I don't know I what. Why? I think it's because of the orange thing inside, and it's like we tied Yeah, so thing. you can see how this side, something on it is not. It's not I need to go out there and fix something. That way, this oh. kind of comes over a little more. But yeah, listen, this part, try it now. Yeah, so this this orange strap is going to be your support. So as you notice, this one right there on the edge of the truck. This one's not, so we just have to fix that. And then we'll be good. This will come over 
as much as we, I guess, really need it. We don't need it too much. This top view of the sky. And then you can take these out as well. Have a view of outside. Bam. Just like that. Last but not least, put on the little rain deflector, moisture deflector thing. This is the only, I guess, really hard part, especially if it's windy. I'm trying to get this over. See if we can do this. Got one hand. But kind of just go one at a time. Get one corner. Ah, clipped in. Bring it on over. Clip it into here. Like so, and then you got one more clip. Not too difficult. That probably took us about 20 seconds to do. And now you've got deflector. And we'll just kind of secure it down. Bam. Bam. There you have it. The right line truck bed tent. Got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was like $119. Could be $170. For some reason, I'm always mixed up on the two. I don't know why. Uh, links down in the description below if you want to purchase one. And this is how small it stores. Yeah, very small. Very easy to roll up. <clears throat> any other questions, let me know, and I'll be sure to come back to you if you need any, uh, any other tips on it or uh, just any advice, I guess. This is our, what, fourth or fifth time using it? Yeah. I have no issues. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty dang secure. All the seams are holding up very well. I imagine over time the seams will probably rip, you know, through here, but you can't beat it for less than $200. Saves you a lot of money. Only downfall of a truck bed tent is if you're out on an off-roading trip, you have to tear it down, go off-roading, re-put it or rebuild it, tear it down again, things like that. Now the benefits of a rooftop tent, of course, unlatch it, fold it out, fold it back, good to go. So yeah, but if you don't want to spend few thousand dollars and get yourself a truck bed tent this is like our uh, little overland sleeping setup we got this is actually the pad for my bike when I have my bike secured in the back and we've got a memory foam two inch memory foam and then another pad set all those bad boys down that's what we sleep on and it gets kind of chilly up here but we got this North Face sleeping bag for Christmas. You can see it's got a nice liner on there and it keeps us warm enough. We literally have one blanket and that's our setup. We got all three mattresses right there. Good to go now. So we got that set up, get the fire going. Got my little Coleman, is it Coleman? Yeah. Yeah, Coleman, or no, Weber. Yeah. Weber barbecue, got some hot links and hot dogs in there dug this out as much as i could that's our view pretty peaceful a couple dirt bikers over there i haven't done anything new to the truck recently however i do have some interior lighting that i need to install i do have some bed stiffeners i need to install and there's something else but i just can't remember at this time i think the most recent was the baja designs fog lights extremely bright these ones are not street legal as i explained in the video down below where i install them um, next thing, probably going to be getting the truck re-geared. Kind of saving up for that right now. I need to get some rock sliders really bad. Once I get the gears, rock sliders, we'll do a front bumper cut. Uh, install a different one. Um, I could use some gas tanks, I guess, for when we start going camping out in Joshua Tree again. Uh, what else? Eventually, a high clearance rear bumper just because I do have a long bed. Um, I think that basically be it you gotta think of anything else right now if you guys can think of anything else i should get let me know before i end this video i wanted to show it's now the following morning i wanted to show how different the weather can change when you're up here in the mountain so it is completely foggy extremely like dense fog i mean all that is wet luckily we have this cover on so if you're planning on getting this tent, make sure you just put, I just put it on no matter what. Put it on anyways, you're still going to get ventilation through right there. And then we're good. So just because it showed that it was 70 degrees yesterday and I was out here with my shirt off, digging out the fire pit. Completely different change in weather. And all we used was still just our North Face sleeping bag and we we're good to go. So any questions, let me know. See you in the next video.